Hi guys, we are a family of three traveling around in the world with our toddler. Uh, in this episode, we explore the beautiful island of Tenerife, and as we try to leave, things don't really go according to plan. When shit happens. When shit happens, and you usually don't take the camera. So stay tuned for that one, and I hope you like the episode. Hey Chris. What's up? We have left Madeira. Yeah. Heading for whoop. for the Canaries. Canaries, and yeah, we are having some problems with the autopilot again. Again. Fortunately, we have a hydroway. Yeah. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed it is working now. Uh, so Chris is marking out where the center is on the for the rudder yeah on the steering wheel yeah we're not really used to using the hydrovene but it looks like it's i mean the boat goes a little bit like this but that's to be expected i think It's fika time. Yeah, this is what happens when you're on a rolly boat. Our fika is here now. You really need to ha hold on. Let's fika. Couldn't escape. curtains for us. Very nice. Have a look. These blue ones are gonna be fresh white ones. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. As my mom was just about to leave us to fly back to Sweden, we decided to rent a car for two days so we could explore the island and then I could drive her to the airport the morning after. Rented a car, mm -hmm. and we're going out exploring Tenerife. Yes, and going up to the top of Teda, Teda the, the volcano. volcano. It's gonna be awesome. Now we're gonna first explore uh, Orotava. Orotava, first Orotava. destination. Yeah. We read that it's maybe the most beautiful city of the Canaries. No. 
But it's the nicest town in the Canaries, so I can imagine. Yeah, it is pretty nice. It's a beautiful town. Yeah, very beautiful. Except for all the tourists. A lot of tourists here and yeah, didn't feel like our thing to go to. <gasps> Tillkammit nå del sause och fortsätt in på karaktera kom Karl 821 del sause. Hilarious. Sightseeing, so Steffi is already waiting in line to get down because Leo is down below with my grandmother or with his grandmother. So we're always in a bit of a rush when we're sightseeing, but it is really beautiful up here. What did you think about Teda? Freezing, it's cold, yeah, super cold. Now we're down but in the beautiful. heat again. Yeah. yeah. Very beautiful. Very weird landscape. But I actually I think it's more beautiful down here than up there. Yeah. It's really cool seeing all these cliffs and rocks that just into the sky. Oh sorry. What's the word? What's, what's the word? The time had come for us to say goodbye to my mother. Thank you so much for coming with us on this part of the adventure and it was really really fun having you with us. Day two of the car rental adventure. Now, Ikea. Because we're from Sweden and if we have a car we have to go to Ikea. That's just how it is. We made it to Ikea. Oh yeah. Since Ikea, with a toddler and two tired parents, is almost like hell on earth, I will spare you that and will just skip that whole experience. We bought some mulled wine, ginger bread cookies. Oi, hang on there. Our car is too small. We spent the next few days getting some small products done on the boat and relaxing a bit before it was time for us to head over towards Gran Canaria and the cruising mecca of Las Palmas. It's a little baby nest! Hey Chris! Hey, what's up? You enjoying life? Very much. <laughs> I see that. Excellent afternoon. Bye bye Santa Cruz. It's been nice. Okay. 17 days. 17 days. It's been real. We 
left Santa Cruz in some super calm conditions and just as we got outside the harbor we actually saw for the first time on this trip something else than just dolphins. We had some pilot grids come really close up to the boat and it was a really magical experience. What you doing? Yeah, documenting when shit happens. When shit happens. And you usually don't take the camera out. So. Yeah. Our, so, um, our, um, our engine died. We saw some doll or we saw some whales. It was awesome. And uh, Steffi jumped in to have a look at them. And then our engine died. Yeah. Basically. Uh, so now uh, we discovered that our fuel filter is absolutely smack full of water. Exactly the same thing uh, as in Kalmar. Yeah. But Do you remember that one? <laughs> we haven't broken the thing on the engine yet, so. We can still get it stopped if we just get clean, nice diesel into it. Yeah. So now, Good thing is that this happened before the Great Atlantic Crossing. Yes. And uh, just like, I don't know. Two no miles. Two, two miles. Marina. Yeah, exactly. So we can just turn back. So we'll just jury rig it and then head back. So hopefully you're gonna, or you are gonna take this one. What do you call this? Tank, portable tank, <laughs> and connect it. So it doesn't take the water from the motor. Yeah. Shitty, shitty. So we just made it back to the marina. We just made it back to the marina and uh, it's lunch time. I'll show you the solution we, we jury rigged. Duct tape, the solution to every single problem in the world. And then we just hooked it up straight to the engine. Change some filters. And um, yeah. Now we just gotta figure out why we have diesel in the in the tank. <laughs> this is what we're working with. Engine, day tank. And this is the fastest way I came up with doing it. So I take the the oil oil changer thing, I shove it down at the bottom of the tank, and then I just suck and suck and suck until there's no more water coming out. There wasn't too much water coming out, so it was all right. So I think it's due to condensation. Because the way the setup is, we have a large tank that empties down into the smaller tank that we actually connect the engine to. So all the condensation that's gonna build up in the, in the large tank is gonna end up in the small tank. So that way you get a lot of water in a small tank. So I think that was our issue, because it wasn't too much water and I can't find another way for the water to come in, so... But now it's clean. I didn't have to empty the whole tank, it looks like. So that's nice. Now we're gonna get everything back together, change all the filters, run it for a while, 
do a full engine service and then uh, then we'll see Good morning. It's half past seven. Today I'm gonna single hand to Las Palmas. Chris and Leo is gonna come with us, but they're more gonna be like a, yeah, be there, but don't say much. If I have any questions, I have to deal with it myself. Exciting, very exciting. Let's see how it goes. But first, some breakfast. Pedro! Hey! Good morning! Good morning! Special day today. Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit because Chris is helping me uh, untying the lines uh, but yeah, from now on I'm on my own. <laughs> Genoa to see how it evolves. Mama The Genoa is out. We're doing five to six knots. And now I'm just gonna lay back and see how it goes for a while. <laughs> Enjoy the ride. Shit is going on. Shit is going on. You want to tell us what happened? We were too nice to the marina. We didn't sneak out anything from our septic tank, from our holding tank. So uh, it got full again. Yeah, like on the Bay of Biscay. Yeah. But now we've emptied it and uh, yeah. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright except that why, why? that smell makes you feel a bit queasy. Exactly. A shitty premiere for single handed steering. It didn't say. take long for the smell to start making us all a little bit seasick. So instead of sailing single-handed, we decided to scrap those plans and instead make our way to Las Palmas as a team. Hi guys! I hope you liked the episode and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. As we're editing this, we are in the lovely island of Grenada. Uh, so stay tuned for a lot more of Not Vikings to come. If you want, you can check out the link to our Patreon page, it's down below. There you get access to a lot more of Not Vikings and you get to see the videos before everyone else. So I hope you enjoy it and see you next time.